Philippine Airlines, brand new Airbus A350. This seat is brand new. I had a couple of flights on Philippine Airlines in the past. I flew their brand new Airbus A350 in premium economy and I tested their business class product on the 321neo all the way to Sydney and I totally loved it. Now it was time to finally try their economy class. We have quality meat here. This is a very decent amenity kit. So guys, wonderful good morning from Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. Today I'll be flying Philippine Airlines on the Airbus 321 Neo. Um, I flew that uh, bird as, uh, some time ago, I think last year or the year before, in business class. They had this beautiful life flat business class in there. And now I'm gonna try their economy class from Port Moresby to Manila, which is actually a five hour flight so it's quite a distance uh, but very much looking forward uh, to flying philippine airlines because i really like them and usually they have really excellent service so let's go in there let's check in and let's find out uh, how the uh, product of philippine airlines might have changed uh, gotten better maybe dropped in standards or um, it's just going to be as lovely as i expect it to be so let's go and check in So unfortunately I was just told at check-in that the airplane has changed. Uh, he didn't know exactly what it was but he said it was a smaller one so I expect it's going to be a 320 um, but it's not going to be a Neo unfortunately. So yeah. The Philippine Airlines 320, I reckon it's a 320, just arrived. So um, probably a bit of a different product because I remember from the Neo um, when I checked out the economy class, there was an in-flight entertainment at each seat. Um, so do know really what to expect from the 320. And I was wondering actually what their business class looks like. Don't think they have live flats in there five hours um was actually very much looking forward to the neo experience because it is a beautiful airplane so with the 320 and probably in a packed airplane it's going to be a little bit different hey guys sorry for the interruption but today's video is sponsored by squarespace and squarespace is probably the most awesome website builder on the internet but why well, imagine you travel and you want to blog about it or you run a little cafe and you want to showcase your cakes to reach a wider audience or you want to sell your product um, on the internet, but you simply don't have the knowledge uh, to build a website. Well, the good news is Squarespace gets you covered. Uh, they have the easiest tools to build a website. You can choose from hundreds of templates. So you just literally have to fill in the rest uh, with your content. They also have like amazing blogging tools where you just share your story and uh, hit the button. You can integrate your social media channels and their customer service is there for you 24 seven. So it's really easy, even if you don't have any knowledge about how to build a website. And to all my viewers, Squarespace offers you 10% of your first purchase, which is a pretty amazing deal. So just go to squarespace.com, Josh Cahill, uh, and then use the uh, code word Josh Cahill, and you can get 10% off and start building your website right now. Now we're gonna go back to the review. So also if you want a travel recommendation, uh, Papua New Guinea is a beautiful country. Um, blessed with very nice and kind people and also the airport here is fairly cute very compact very small but uh, yeah can uh, strongly recommend coming here I really enjoyed my time here especially the people are incredible so that was kind of easy one boarding call no difference between business and economy class passengers uh, here we are boarding the 320 to Manila. 
I was greeted by a big fat Scamtrax logo right at the door of the Airbus A320, which comes with 12 business class recliner seats and features 144 standard seats in economy class. This particular 320 was delivered to Philippine Airlines in 2008. So welcome on board uh, Philippine Airlines, probably oldest aircraft or narrow body aircraft they have in their fleet. Um, of course, there's no personal entertainment here. The only entertainment we have available is the overhead entertainment. Um, however, there's already some headphones here at the seat. You have a foldable table and great crew that's something i always enjoy here on the philippine airlines the crew is really lovely but uh yeah in terms of comfort there's a world of a difference between the 321 neo and the old 320 right here very much not so much anymore looking forward to the next five hours but i'm still gonna be okay so yeah this is the recline situation here um, it's also pretty alright. I came to Papua New Guinea to feature the national airline Air New Guinea, which was an absolute wonderful experience. So feel free to check out my Boeing 767 review from Brisbane to Port Moresby. We left uh, Manila, uh, we left Port Morrisby 20 minutes ahead of schedule, uh, which is very nice. Uh, also during the boarding process, uh, the crew sorted out the seating arrangements, so making sure everybody has a middle seat, um, as you can see, so uh, yeah, very proactive and nice crew, uh, which is very much appreciated, and uh, now they just gave out arrival cards and all that kind of stuff, and then uh, in a few minutes I think they're gonna start uh, service so another little highlight here um, Philippine Airlines is giving out amenity kits in economy class so uh, let's have a look what we have inside this little pouch here and there we go these are the items featured in the amenity kit we have a toothbrush with toothpaste a pair of socks and uh, eye shades and uh, it's all kept in this wonderful uh, little pouch I guess that's something uh, very nice uh, every time in economy class when you uh, come across an airline that gives out um, amenity kits uh, makes uh, a great impression So roughly a half an hour into the flight, uh, food was served in a very uh, lovely, quick and efficient manner. Uh, they have chicken, chicken rice or beef and potatoes, so I'm going to try the beef today, um, which looks lovely. Um, I hope it tastes just as nice, uh, but yeah, crew is very quick, very efficient and um, uh, they're executing the service in a very nice manner now saying after I tried their business class I tried their premium economy and now finally I tried their economy class I can honestly say that uh, it's quite a quality product so that was lunch um, I think the catering was loaded in Port Moresby so it was good but it was nothing uh, outstanding but let me tell you when you have a flight that departs from Manila and they, they load their own catering 
it's us usually really really good uh, that's what I experienced on my flight from Manila to uh, uh, to Australia it was, uh, it was outstanding but yeah now probably gonna have a tea and then uh, probably get some work done So the crew has cleared all the trays, uh, uh, asked everyone to put down their window shades and they're giving out cookies um, for everyone. Very lovely. So as you were probably able to see, uh, the cabin is kept in complete darkness so uh, passengers get to rest, um, which is very comfortable, uh, especially considering that everybody had to get up very early and this is the lavatory here um, the 320 features two lavatories in the back one in the front but the one in the front is reserved for business class passengers and uh, get a few amenities here uh, something I really like is cologne uh, you don't see that very often in, uh, in economy class uh, there is some um, lotion some hand wash all the usual amenities, uh, as well as cups, and uh, yeah, also a little table here where you can change nappies and, uh, and stuff. But yeah, it's also kept very clean, very nice, so pretty, pretty lovely, and it doesn't smell really bad. It has a nice scent to it. Alright, that was the laboratory view here on Philippine Airlines. So, and here we are. That was a very productive flight for me. Uh, did a bit of editing, went to some footage, uh, and uh, yeah, it was just an announcement from the first officer that we that we're starting our descent in uh, a few minutes. Uh, the crew is just going around, uh, giving out some water. Um, one last uh, water service before we touch down, which is once again not so common these days on airlines. So that's why I can't praise the service here on Philippine Airlines uh, enough. We then started our descent into Manila, where I would stay for the night and continue in Cebu Pacific's Airbus A321neo the very next morning. Make sure you check out that video as well. Philippine Airlines, welcome to you Manila. So welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> that was an absolute outstanding flight. Um, hands down, they're one of the best airlines in the world. That is for sure. Um, consistency and quality that is always um, amazing. I've tried all their classes: premium economy, business economy. So it is um, a really really um, great product which I can like strongly um, recommend and uh, yeah unfortunately it was only the T20 and uh, not the Neo so the hard product would be even better um, but overall um, talking about good crew Philippine Airlines has it all all right guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's episode um, give me a like if you agree that Philippine Airlines is a good airline. Okay. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And guys, where are we off to? Have a safe trip and thank you so much for watching.